Hello, my friends. How you doing today? I am doing well, and I'm back again with another another episode of unboxing crap. Okay, I'm unboxing some physical media because that's what it's all about. It's all about the physical. Let me move this back. So falling, I got ET falling down on me over here. It's all about the physical media. Yes, listen, listen. You you want to hold something? You want to have something to hold? Forget about the streaming stuff already. This is ridiculous. Okay, if we boycott the streaming channels, then we we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. So anyway, I got two things here. One I opened already because I wanted to review it. Okay, I wanted to review it for you. I want to help you if you have questions. And I had questions. So when it came in the mail, I got the notification from eBay saying it came in the mail. Now I will tell you that this thing is. Out of print, a little difficult to get, a little pricey. Okay, there's just three negatives. I'm hitting with three negatives right away, and I'm probably gonna, I'll probably go with that one first. We'll talk about that first before I open that one up because that other one's from Arrow Video. Okay, so we got an Arrow Video, and we have a special something here. Now this came from uh, Kurt Gatson from uh, Yuba City, California. Now Mr. Gatson did not give me a deal. Mr. Gatson uh, um, actually charged me more than what he probably paid for it because. This is one of those things that you guys should have, I, I should have, actually I did pre-order. I pre-ordered this thing um, two months in advance from Deep Discount. And Deep Discount gave me the, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. They gave me the old screwing, okay? Because um, I'm waiting and waiting for the release to come out. And then finally the release comes out. Everybody's getting theirs. Everybody's got their YouTube videos. They're all making their YouTube videos on it. And I'm still waiting. And then I'm and then. I'm checking my emails, checking my emails, nothing, 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 nothing. Then I contacted them, and I'm like, listen, I received this box set, I received that box set, but I've not received this thing yet. Here is the number, here is the item number, here is the, the purchase number, here's, here's all the information you need. What is going on with this thing that I pre-ordered from you guys two months in advance? And uh, I got a message back saying, we're sorry, but we're not getting it in stock. And I'm like, well, that's not acceptable. I don't, I don't accept your apology. I don't accept your sorry. They're like, well, we're going to give you your money back. Of course, you're going to give my money back, but I don't accept your apology because now you've made it difficult for me to purchase this thing for a reasonable price because now I'm going to have to go to the secondary market. I'm going to have to go to the, to the flippers on eBay, those, those flipping scumbag jerks that, that probably bought 10 copies of this thing and, and, and I'm going to sell them for like three times more than what they paid for because that's what they do. That's what those scumbags do. I don't know how they sleep at night, okay? Uh, but I'm sure that the, the, the flames, the flames of the burning Blu-rays and DVDs and 4Ks uh, of hell are going to consume their bodies once they are dead because they just suck. These people, these people suck, okay? Because what I have in this box right here, um, it, it should have only cost me around 80 bucks or whatever, but it didn't. Okay, it didn't. Um, the original one that I was buying from uh, Deep Discount was like $82, I want to say. And I was satisfied with that. Even that was a little pricey for what this is. Now, you probably ask me, what is it? What, what's, what's in the box? Okay, I'll show you what's in the box. Now, number one, we got a fr fragile handle with care. And I will say that my mailman did a great job. He did a great job because I was outside and he handed it right to me. Yeah, besides that, he probably would have just threw it on the porch. And I did open it. I sliced it on one side, sliced it on the other side. And it is... Um, the Exorcist 4K Blu-ray combo. Okay, now this is the deal. Um, this is the one I chose. A lot of people chose the Bible one, the one that looks like a Bible. I was like, no, I think that's stupid. Okay, I, I, I listen, listen. Once again, I'm not judging you. This is this is just me. The one that looked like a Bible was very bland. I thought it was bland. It looked like a Bible. It said the Exorcist on it. You opened it up. It had a purple thing inside of it. It said the Exorcist on it, and then it had almost everything that's in here. In this more expensive thing, it had a book. It had an, like an extra book, which I'm never going to read. I, I'm never going to read that. So why would I even bother on buying one with an, with an extra book since I'm never going to read it? I wanted this cover, this blue cover of uh, of Reagan. Okay, I wanted this. I like the steel book. So I, I like the blue cover, but I wanted the original cover art. This had the best of both worlds. So no, I did make a little slice in the side of this. So this is open. I'm going to slide it out and show you what you get. First thing you get is... This little little blue um, Reagan uh, cover art container thing there, full of stuff. Okay, we got stuff inside here. Now, I'm going to open it up. This is the first time me opening this part up. I didn't know. I opened up the, the, the Blu-ray player to answer some questions. The Blu-ray uh, Blu 4K combo pack to answer questions. But I did not open this thing up yet. And inside here we get our normal... I don't know. I guess people still going goo goo gaga over these, um, these lobby cards here. We got a lobby card there with a... With a with a Reagan on it. I'll try to do. I'll, I'll go this way. Watch. Ready? Here we go. None, none of these are gonna be 
So we get see these beautiful lobby cards. Yes, they're, they're glossy. They're lobby cards. They're, they're going to get stuck back in the box again, and I'm going to do absolutely nothing with them. I don't know. You people frame these things. I mean, what, what, what is your little... Uh, little catch on the, the lobby cards. I think I'm back at the beginning again. And then we go in the back over here. We got some black and white photos. Are they saying? Not, not the same. A little different. You know what I mean? I mean, they're cute. They, 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 but, but really what? What are you doing with them? What are you, what are you really doing? I, I kind of actually, really, I really like, I really like this one. I really, I really, because I always like that. And, and actually, you know what's cool is this, out of all these cards, if, I, if they would have just gave me this one, I would have been happy because it's got that on the front and it's got that on the back. Which I think is, is that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But once again, I'm not a lobby card guy, so I really don't care. I just got to make sure that I put the, the correct one, which was this one, in the front because I'm a little wacky like that. Um, then you get a uh, reprint, okay, a reprint of the Exorcist poster. Now, this is clearly a reprint because um, I can't see anybody driving by um, any movie theater and going, yes, I'm going to go see The Exorcist uh, after I'm done buying myself some glasses so I can actually read everything and see the poster from 400 miles away. Nah, this is um, just a reprint of the poster. You get one side is, I guess, I don't know, one got a purple writing, the other one doesn't. Then, uh, you know what's funny is I saw somebody unbox this thing and they and they picked up this thing and like, wow, that's really cool. What the hell is this? Well, I mean, is this a bookmark? <laughs> I don't I don't know what this is. I don't know. It's not a, it does, it's not a, a rep it's not a reproduction of the ticket, the original ticket that you would have bought if you went to the movies. It's it's kind of just cover up in like of the poster on a smaller piece of paper so to me it looks like a bookmark and i, I don't know uh, maybe while i'm reading this this book that it comes with which is comes with a nice little book there which i'm gonna give you a little this is the only time this is ever gonna be open i'm never gonna break the little binding thing in the in the back here that's made out of like a little cheap cardboard but maybe maybe while i'm reading this beautiful book there on the crapper uh i i put the 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 bookmark in there like so and i'm like oh yeah i was on page uh number 22 that day when i was uh taking dump number seven and i remember i had corn in it that day that was a great day and uh yeah and, uh there was a little blood in my stool a little soft a little, little blood and, and it, was, it was a rough day that day um yeah maybe that's what this is i don't know but somebody unboxed this thing the other day and i was i was i had to actually i i didn't laugh out loud but i laughed in my head i was like this guy's like he's like and it comes with one of these wow this is really nice and i'm like it's it's a bookmark or something. I don't, I don't even know what that is. So yeah, that's what comes in this this thing here. We get the poster, we get a book, and we get um, we get the lobby cards, and we get a bookmark. That's what that's what that, I'm pretty sure that is. I think, I think it's a bookmark, so so you don't lose your place when you're reading the the book on the crapper. Um, let's see if I can get these back in here without creasing them, or whatever, because you know they're never coming out of this thing again. Um, slide that in there. Like, so yeah, see, it's kind of this little slight thing, a little, a little nice. Um, and then. My, my next reason for purchasing this thing is um, it comes with... Uh, now, I'm not a steelbook guy, but it's the original artwork. Okay, look, that's the original artwork from the original... Uh, what I remember the Exorcist being on VHS, what I remember the Exorcist being... Uh, I don't remember the Exorcist being in theaters, okay? I'm a little bit... I'm not that old, okay? I'm not that old yet, but... Uh, I'm not that old yet. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to be that old yet. But I did not see The Exorcist in the theater, but I did see it on the rental areas when I went to go to the, to the video stores. Um, and I thought this was kind of cool. I mean, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not big on steelbooks, but because it has a housing, I'm happy about that. Um, but opening this up, I will show you that it's five discs stacked. So we got two over here, which is the two 4Ks. And we got three over here, which is the three uh, Blu-rays. Well, what's cool about this box set is let me put this over here and this over here let me let me let me uh actually i'm gonna slide this back in here um a lot of people complained about the fact that they were stacked oh we don't like the we don't like how you you know you could have came up with a better idea than stacking the the um the the videos like that because i mean, let, let me show you something very 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 quickly here though um let's say i want to watch uh exorcist on blu-ray which is probably what i'm going to talk about first anyway I, it came out no problem. If I want to take the next one out, next one will come out problem. But the, pro, the people are complaining because they they have to pop this thing out. Like, 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 well, like, they call me call me a liar here. No, see, that was nothing. Okay, and then right behind it is the other disc. Um, I don't see any issue with that. I mean, not really. I mean, if you got a clean house or a clean area to put your stuff, I mean, I, I don't I don't see any issue with that. Um, but what I thought was cool was. That big, expensive $300 one that looks like a Bible that came with the extra book and everything. Everything is is in here. 
or video wise and audio wise and 4k wise and blu-ray wise so why spend an extra hundred bucks for the casing when you can get this now i was a little concerned because when i did get it, it has these little little number things on it which i think are like european or i don't know i don't know you know what they but they are stickers number one this is the first time i ever seen them where they're stickers so if i really wanted to take the time to peel the stickers off of the covers i could and 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 this thing right over here, this and I'm sick and tired. This this these Warner Brothers 100 things there. I I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Hey, congratulations that you hit 100 years. But I don't like how all of your videos, especially the ones you can't like this thing right here. I could take this. It's a J card. I could take this whole thing off, and we could just forget about the the hundred years or whatever. Um, but for their regular single discs that they're releasing, they that you can't take that off. The hundred years is on all of these. These uh, Blu-rays and DVDs and, and 4Ks that they're releasing now. And you can't take this thing off. This one you can. So I, I was kind of happy about that. But what's cool about this is... I'm, I'm going a little blind, so I got to hold this a little far away. Uh, disc 1, you get uh, The Exorcist, the director's cut on 4K. This Disc number 2, you get The Exorcist, the original theatrical cut on 4K. On disc number 3, you get the uh, extended director's cut, which is the same one as, as the first one. On Blu-ray, you get the uh, disc number four. You get the uh, original theatrical uh, version on Blu-ray, and then disc number five, you get an, an additional Blu-ray with special features. Well, I'm gonna have a real hard time seeing because of the coloring. Uh, Beyond uh, comprehension, uh, William uh, Peter Blatty, uh, The Exorcist, uh, talk, talk of the talk. Wait, talk? The talk? Let me see. Looks like talk. Talk of the Talk of the new document. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't see it. I'm sorry. That's, I apologize. Uh, and much more. We got in a much more. So you actually get three Blu-rays and two 4Ks in this box set. Um, how much did I pay? How much did I pay? Thanks to Deep Discount giving me the old. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I want to say it was about ninety something dollars, which was probably about ten dollars more than. I would have paid a deep discount, which isn't that bad. So maybe I shouldn't be complaining that much. But still, the fact that the guy, I know that the guy paid what he paid for it and he's still making $10 plus shipping. You know what I mean? $10 plus shipping. So I know, I understand you got to make a profit, but this isn't like, uh, you know, this isn't Pawn Stars. Yeah, I'm not not like, I, we, you know, listen, I was selling this thing for, uh, uh, it's worth 2000 So I, I got to, I got to, I'm going to offer you 500 I'm going to, I'm going to offer you 500 and I'm going to try to rip you off. And then the guy goes, ah, will you, will you take eight? You know, will you, will you give me eight for it? And they're like, ah, uh, no, nah, I think I got to stick to five. I really I really want to throw you over the barrel. You know, you know no. See, that's that's the way I feel with some of these scumbag flippers on on, on, um, on eBay. They just really, they go for the they go for the jugular. They, they, they just go for the jugular and they just won't, they won't let go. We eat the pig and then together we burn. What you talking about, Satan? They won't let go till you till you're dead and broke. Uh, but if you are thinking about picking up, if you do not own The Exorcist on any format, number one, let me tell you, this is a great movie. Totally holds up. Don't listen to anybody else but me, okay? Because I've I've been watching YouTubers unbox this thing. I've been watching YouTubers um, give reviews on, it, and they're like, oh, it's it's not as great as we remember it being. Oh, it's not as amazing as it was. Uh, uh, you know, I've seen it so many times. I just kind of lost something. No. This this is a, a great, beautiful exorcism movie. I don't like exorcism movies per se. Okay, I'm not a big exorcist movie fan. This is probably the only one that I actually will watch. I'm not big on like like I own other like a Exorcist in Providence or whatever it was. Is that Providence? Where, where, where were they? They were there someplace, New York or something. I don't know. It was an exorcism somewhere. And then there's the exorcism of Emily Rose and all this stuff. Listen, I watched all of these things, but but none of them really gave me the the love an emotion that I had w with the original Exorcist. You know what I mean? This just Linda Blair does a great job as a possessed child. Um, the voices, the actors, the no-name actors as far as the no-name uh, um, young... Um, young... Uh, oh, come on, work with me here. The the young... the young. Uh, I want to say pastor. That's not a pastor. Priest. Young priest, okay? And then, and then there's the other guy that that plays a priest that's actually a real priest in real life. If you watch the bonus features, what I've gone through, I've gone through all the bonus features. So uh, the question, the question, the question that, the reason why I opened this ahead of time, yes, okay, I'm sorry, because I watched 101 YouTubers that would not answer this question. Jesus, I'm sorry that I, I took this long to answer this big question. And if, you, if you're here looking at this, you're probably, this is probably why you came to see this. It will play 
in your blue regular regular us blu-ray players okay the blu-rays will play and the 4ks will play in a 4k player no problem you're not gonna have any problem so if you do end up getting the one with the little little stickers here and you're scared and you're like oh no this is a foreign release is it gonna play in my player yes it plays in your player it plays excellent um the blu-rays are literally the same as what you would have purchased before um no difference okay um I didn't see any difference anyway, uh, but I've got to tell you right now, I thought the original Blu-rays were beautiful to begin with. So these new Blu-rays are just as beautiful, the coloring. I will also tell you that I did throw the, the 4K in the 4K player with my 4K TV, which is a, four, is it, listen, they're Sony's, okay? Because I had a couple of uh, people ask me, well, maybe your, your 4K player isn't really a, that good of a 4K player. Now, I'll tell you, my surround sound sucks. I don't have a surround sound system on my TV, okay? I, I, that, that part... I can't, I can't tell you about, but as far as visually what I see and how I, how, what I see on, on uh, a 1080p TV, as opposed to a 4, 4K t uh, TV, um, the Exorcist is very blue, very, very blue. I, I'm honestly going to throw it out there. I prefer the Blu-ray over the 4K. I just thought that everything was very, very like this, this, like this blue. Like, somebody was saying, well, I, I, this this should have been green because, you know, she spits up the pea soup. She's all about the green. Exorcist, you think of green. I don't know. For some reason, like, even even this thing, the, the um, this this is, uh, I know you can't see it very well, but this has kind of got a green tintish to it, okay? The original uh, had a, a green tint to it. Um, yeah, the, the Blu-ray, uh, the 4K, I'm sorry, the 4K is very, very blue. To the point where I I I I was like I'm glad I still got the Blu-rays because the Blu-rays seem to be more crisp and clear. Does that make sense to you? The the 4K is very uh, non-grainy and very clean, but very dark and very blue. That's my opinion. You can uh, you can leave comments below if you own this and you've seen it on 4k and you're like no i prefer the 4k over the blu-ray well that we, we all have our opinions okay my and my opinion is is i just think that the blue the 4k was way too blue dark blue too i mean it's it's it, it was in some scenes it was it worked but in other scenes like when you see like reagan like possessed and she's in, in the room and everything and, the, and there's just certain parts that it just didn't work for me it, it didn't work for me because i prefer to see more more whites more lights more more brightness in, in in certain scenes i want to see more of what's going on and that it just seems like with this one they kind of like filtered the crap out of it they like kind of i almost feel like it, I'm, I'm doing this because i'm picture i'm picturing the film and them just scrubbing it you know scrubbing every little little grain and, and little spot and every little but but not making it better just kind of making it more um tilted uh, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It, look, it, it reminds me of, of a filter that you would probably get like on a Snapchat or something. It was, it was like somebody ran the Exorcist through a Snapchat filter. That's what I felt. That, that was That's my personal opinion. Me, I enjoy the Blu-rays. I've always enjoyed the Blu-rays. And I, I, I got to tell you too, I, I've compared the DVD, the Blu-ray, and the 4K. And um, I will tell you that I do prefer the, the Blu-ray and the 4K over the DVD. But... Um, the DVD and, and I, I don't know, I, I, I'm still kind of on the fence with like the DVD and the 4K. If, if I had both of them in my hands, which one would I watch first? I mean, I, I think I'd watch the DVD. I just think I'd, I, I'd like it better with the grainy popping and crackling and, and that kind of stuff. And with that said, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Wait a minute. I'm losing my mind. Oh, that was so stupid. Uh, I talk so much about the Exorcist now. Now, now I'm gonna have to put a commercial in here because listen, you, you nice uh, uh, subscribers were nice, uh, nice enough to tell me, hey, listen, buddy, you, when you do a video that's like half an hour long, or whatever, you need to put a commercial in somewhere, or whatever. That's why you're not making no money, and you you need to try to stop making some money because you deserve it. And and and, and, and I, I I get it, but I I also like your view and pleasure to be a view and pleasure. I, I can't stand sometimes when I'm watching somebody on YouTube, and um. They throw a commercial like in the middle of it, especially ones that have like multiple commercials, like, four or five commercials while I'm trying to watch like a like a gun show. Like I'm trying to watch somebody like let's say uh, let's see if we can shoot a 22 caliber through somebody's house. I love watching that stuff. All right, so let's see if we can shoot uh, how many how many uh, I don't know uh, cottons of milk uh, does it take to stop a bullet? I, lo I love watching. That stuff.
then I hate when they throw a commercial. I'm like, okay, we're on the nine millimeter. Is it gonna make it? And then they're like, okay, here's a commercial for like I don't know, uh, Depends diapers or something. I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't even know what my sponsor would be. To groom them, or even yourself. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Wow. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if if, if I if I put the commercial between you, you're gonna have to tell me what my sponsor would be because I don't. I don't watch my stuff. So here we go. A um, Oh, it's a perfect example of, of how screwed up everything is nowadays. Um, this is from Arrow Video. And my complaint is not with Arrow Video. My complaint is with the fact that in order for me to get... Okay, now let's... This is, this is a little ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I have never seen this movie, but I own it on DVD. Okay. I uh, bought it because I just think it looks pretty dang cool, okay? The whole thing looks pretty dang cool. Um, what is this thing rated? Not rated, not rated. I have no idea what's rated. Uh, but it does star, okay? Let me make sure, let me make sure I'm not going to say something stupid here. Um, it does star, does star? Does, the Death Star. There is a great disturbance in the Force. What, what, why am I... Why am I drawing a complete blank? <laughs> this is terrible. Um, Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda, right? I didn't, even, I didn't even look at it. Jane Fonda. It's Jane Fonda. Well, you know what? Jane Fonda is a star of this thing, but she's not even the, the main name on the back of this thing. Like, you would think that she would be, like, the first name. You know when they put the little thing, like, Paramount Pictures Presents... Uh, Dina Della Brana production. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Jane Fonda. I, I, I just missed it. So anyway. So yeah, here we go. Uh, Jane Fonda in Barbarella. Now this is the Blu-ray box set. Um, limited edition Blu-ray contents. Brand new 4K remaster from the original negatives from uh, by Arrow. Reversible sleeve featuring... I mean, this has got a ton of extras. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're going to go a little crazy. Hold on. Um, brand new 4K scan, uh, commissioned artwork by, uh, Tallulah, Tallulah Lolola, Tallulah Lolola, Lola? oh, that, that's, ooh. uh, double-sided fold-out poster featuring original and newly commissioned artwork, uh, six double-sided, uh, collector's postcards, there's the lobby cards again, we gotta throw those lobby cards in there, uh, illustrated collector's booklet featuring new, uh, writings on, the film uh, by Ann Bilson and a bunch of other people that you probably don't know. Um, and then disc one has the feature. High definition, 1080p, Blu-ray, original, uh, looseless English mono. Lo looseless English? Okay. Um, and then we have a disc number two, which is full of extras. Tons of extras. But then, okay, now, now I'm going to show you. Uh, this, is the, this is the front. Let's just look at that. There we go. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the back. This is the back. This is the newly commissioned artwork. This is the the new artwork, and I was I was looking at. It, I'm like, wow, what am I gonna buy? Am I gonna? Oh, Arrow, what are you doing to me, man? Because because this the artwork is is available on the Blu-ray and the 4K. But if I buy the 4K, then I'm not gonna get the Blu-ray. But I I need the I want the Blu-ray. Okay, so so I went with the Blu-ray. Then I went with the original artwork on the 4K. Yes, this this is all 4K, except for disc one, which uh, so uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray limited edition content, brand new 4K restoration. So disc one has uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, and disc two has the extras on Blu-ray. So really, what I purchased here was the original art on a 4k because i figured that's the way to go about it and i got the newly commissioned art on a blu-ray but i got the same special features so i got the same disc in the blu-ray and in the 4k which have all the special features the only difference between these two is the op and the disc one and disc one 4k blu-ray that's it um let me see you I know, mean, uh, as far as special features go, this one on the blue on the 4K is all mono commentary. It's all audio, all audio commentaries. Where uh, let me see here, credits. 
isolated score. Yep, they did the same thing with uh, with the with the Blu-ray, um, and the bonus disc with all the special features is all Blu-ray. Um, if I show you the back, that's how that's set up. But I will tell you, I mean, I I I, just, I wanted the the old school cover art. This is, I mean, this is actually more beautiful. The artwork is 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 than the artwork from the the DVD. I mean, I think that, I thought the DVD was great, and that's the reason why I bought the DVD. I bought the DVD because I thought the art was great. I thought I thought it was great. Now I'm a big fan of like um. Not so much Conan the Barbarians, but those kind of sci. I know Conan was a sci-fi, but you know, like that, these these kind of low budget, futuristic type movies there. So I was like, I'm, I I think I'm gonna enjoy this. So I did buy it brand new. It's still sealed. I still got it sealed. It's, it's, it's actually in the closet. That's that's it's in my probably never gonna watch you section. Um, but now I'm gonna be forced to watch these because I paid big money for these. These these are like I, I want to say like fifty bucks a piece, like fifty four. I like got almost almost a hundred bucks to be able to to watch a movie that I don't even know if I'm gonna like a movie that I ne I never even seen a movie that um I bought strictly because I think the art is beautiful. You know that's the thing that that a lot of people don't understand about you know four K Blu Ray physical media collectors. We're not buying it just for the movie. We're buying it for the packaging. We're buying it for the art. We're buying it for this. This to, to me, this this is my Picasso. Okay, this, this is my my uh, uh, Rembrandt. Okay, that, that, that's that's what this is to me. I could care less about all those those famous artists in the world. Okay, maybe maybe not Bob Ross. I'm a big Bob Ross fan, but uh, you know, I could care less about those other people that like that. But but when you when you throw something at me that that's this just beautiful. I mean, I think that's beautiful. I I think that is beautiful. I think packaging and, and the way that they put things together are beautiful, and that's worth worth every dime. I mean, even even if we go back to this thing, I mean, I, I didn't buy it just for the movie. I already knew what the movie was. I bought it for the packaging. I, I had to decide, do I want to get one that looks like a Bible, or do I want one that actually has the character on the outside? Well, I'm going with the character on the outside. I'm going with that that the iconic character that I can display on my wall, and people aren't like, well, what is that? Is that a Bible, or is that the Exorcist? No, it's, it's the Exorcist, but it's a special edition, and I got to explain it. This one, you put that on a, on a wall there with, with Reagan little looking at you all blue-like and all scary, you know exactly what you're getting. You know you know exactly what that is. And with that said, my friends, thank you so much. Uh, uh, questions, comments, anything, comment below. I, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate Listen, I don't care what you say. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm, I'm, I'm being perfectly honest with you. Uh, a lot of people get very uh, easily um, offended. I don't get offended. I don't get. I, 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 I respect. Um, I respect comments. I respect uh, you know knowledge, and I respect like uh, you, you wanna you wanna question me about something, then then you question me about it. I'm I'm gonna tell you the reason why. I'm gonna tell you my honest reason why. It may not be what you wanna hear. It may not be. Uh, it may not make any sense. You know, like like you're probably looking at me like. You just spent almost 100 bucks on a movie you've never seen before. That, that doesn't even make any sense. And it's not like you know if you're going to go into this thing and be like, yes, I love it. I need to. And the other thing is you, you just got done saying that you don't watch 4Ks. Why did you buy the 4K? Well, I bought the 4K because this was a limited edition um, only to um, Arrow Video. You can only buy this one on the Arrow Video site. This one right here is all over Amazon, all over eBay, all over the place. This one probably is not right now all over eBay too, but it's probably like three times the price that I paid for it. So I'm like... I'm I'm just gonna buy this now. I'm gonna buy it now and just save myself the the hunt later on because I'm gonna want that beautiful artwork on my wall. I'm gonna want to display this, not this. I mean, I like this, but I want because I, I wanted the new commissioned artwork. I wanted the new commissioned artwork from Arrow Video because I think Arrow Video does a great job. But and I wanted the Blu-ray. And the offer was with the 4K HD with this original art. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one. And I'll go with the Blu-ray with this one. And this one I won't mind opening, but this one will stay sealed for for eternity okay that, that's that's or until i drop dead and my kids sell my whole entire collection to some weirdo for about 20 bucks and with that said my friends thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate you and, and uh if you could stop for a second wait i'm gonna stop there was a, a guy that did this the other day and it worked um if you made it this far uh you have 15 seconds uh, to hit the subscribe button, okay? I'm going to tell you the reason why. I got, I got 15 seconds to tell you the reason why you should hit the subscribe button. Now, if you like movies, you like toys, you like media, you like hearing about all new media that's coming out, you like hearing about how to get things that you can't afford as quick as you can get them, okay? And 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 you like realism. You like realism. That's it. That's, that's it. That's, that's the end of, end of my thing. It's time for you to hit the subscribe button. And with that said, my friends, I will see you later. Maybe I maybe maybe I should pause.
a little bit for you to hit the subscribe button because maybe maybe you're not on a maybe not on a phone or you're like on your computer or you gotta you gotta figure out where the subscribe button is and then wait hold on okay wait a minute that, that should be enough time okay wait and I will see you later. You should have saved me some. <laughs>